Hey everyone, this is Sohini from Double Lab and in today's tutorial, as I said uh, the other day, I'm going to be using the Amazon Comprehend Medical Detect Entities um, method in an Alexa skill today. So this is going to be super cool. So let me first sign into my GitHub. Um, that's it. And this is the repo that I'm going to be using. So this is a skill template that I already created from beforehand with respect to the code that we did the other day in the previous tutorial. So you can find a reference of it on the description below. So what I'm going to do is hit on this and this is public. You can use this too. And if you really like this, not forget to share this on your Twitter and do not forget to hit a star on this repo. Then I'll be knowing that you're using this. Um, then you can navigate to your Amazon Alexa console and let's name this call as medical diagnosis and let the language be English US, this be custom, this be Node.js and let's create this call. So basically this skill is going to take an input from a patient. Let's say I'm going to say I'm having so and so problems and this is how it is. Then Alexa is going to return a response saying, oh, I think the probable diseases that you could be having are this, 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 this. So that's how the skill is going to work like. So it will take a couple of more seconds of compiling. So let's just hold them tight and then we can go ahead. Okay, so this is done. Now this is our build, so I will just walk you through this template. So when you go to intents, here is an intent that I created. So when the skill is going to launch, Alexa is going to say, hello, welcome. Tell me what are the problems that you're facing. So then the user is going to say, I am having so and so problems and that's going to be captured inside of this slot report so i will capture the user's intent inside of the report slot which uses a slot type amazon.search query this slot type is really really good because when you have a random text absolutely that can be used inside of the amazon.search query slot so now we're gonna go and navigate to our code so we're gonna hit on this and this is our coding tab and this is how our code looks like. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to config.json and make changes to our access key ID and secret access key, which I'm going to be stitching right now. But make sure that you don't share your access key ID and secret access key in region with anybody. This is quite available in your AWS console, which I've shared in the previous video. Um, so you can get a track of those from there. So for now, I will just copy paste this and I will hide it. Okay, so I just did that and now I'm going to deploy the code. So let's first look at the, so this is the same code exactly that we did the other day in Node.js and Ruplet. And if you are not aware of that, then you can just check the link on the description below and get back to the previous video. And I highly recommend that you have a look at that. That's going to be amazingly awesome. So then this is our launch and then handler here. Alexa is going to ask, tell me your medical condition. And this is where I'm going to say like, okay, this is my medical condition. It's going to go inside of this um, variable. And that's going to go inside of my API params. And then it's going to hit the API. And whatever the response is going to come back, I will speak the I'll, I'll speak output that. So that's it. It's pretty simple. It's similar to the code that we did the other day. Um, now we're going to hit on test and open the testing console. And I will need a sample text. So let's just turn this to development and I will. I will say this. Okay, so let's say medical diagnosis i'm going to open this up and welcome tell me your medical condition let's say this is the medical condition this is something that a copy paste identified diseases are sleeping trouble rash okay so this is the text that we used the other day in our replit code so that's the same input i've used in this case so it's just said i'm a high school teacher hpi sleeping pro trouble on present dosage of clonidin severe rash on face and like slightly itchy meds um viennese 50 milligrams pill at breakfast daily now if i wanted to know about the medicines i would have used another method and fetch this so that's a simple example of this of how the skill works and 
we can just try this with all the methods that Amazon Comprehend has and we can probably create more and more Alexa skills that could give you a demo of how this thing works out and um, make sure that the text that you're passing through Alexa isn't too large because Alexa is incapable of taking huge amount of um, statements or characters which could result to a document because that's the only limitation that's there in Alexa but apart from that I think this is a great use case we can create a Docker Alexa that would be using Amazon Comprehend to know your problems and identify them and send it to the doctor and get you diagnosed so that's a pretty great use case that we discussed in the live stream as well um, a few weeks back um, so yeah that's all for today and I will see you soon in the next tutorial till then have a great rest of your day if you really like this video do not forget to hit a like share and subscribe thanks for watching